welcome back. So, uh, it's like two in the morning almost, and I just got a shake because it's my birthday, and I'm treating myself. Mm. Oh, she thick. I will try not to be obnoxious because I never eat or drink anything in my videos. I can usually hold back the fatness, but it's my birthday, so like, fuck it, you get what you get. <laughs> what this video is about isn't even necessarily Matt Gates. It's more so about the irony and hypocrisy of the left. Matt Gates happens to be involved in it. Do I like Matt Gates? Yes. I have had a very positive view of Matt Gates for a while now. I know I've said it before, but I really thought Matt Gates was one of the good ones, like a real trooper, someone who's always had Trump's back, someone who has always fought for what I believe in. I wish I wasn't talking about this. True or untrue, I wish this was not a topic. And that's just me being transparent with you guys. So let's actually talk about what I'm talking about. Two or three days ago, depending on when I actually post this video, New York Times published a story talking about an investigation going on involving Matt Gates and human trafficking, um, allegations of him flying around with a 17 year old girl. It's pretty vague. Um, left people with a lot of questions, absolutely no answers. <laughs> Just a few hours after the story came out, Tucker Carlson made the brilliant decision, honestly. He brought Matt Gates on to do an interview and basically give him an opportunity to clarify anything he could about this incredibly vague story. Congressman, thanks so much for coming on. I appreciate it. Um, so this is obviously a serious allegation. Tell us what the truth is from your perspective. It is a horrible allegation and it is a lie. The New York Times is running a story that I have traveled with a 17 year old woman and that is verifiably false. People can look at my travel records and see that that is not the case. What is happening is an extortion of me and my family involving a former Department of Justice official. On March 16th, my father got a text message demanding a meeting wherein a person demanded $25 million in exchange for making horrible sex trafficking allegations against me. Troubled by that, we went to the local FBI. And the FBI and the Department of Justice were so concerned about this attempted extortion of a member of Congress that they asked my dad to wear a wire, which he did with the former Department of Justice official. Tonight, I am demanding that the Department of Justice and the FBI release the audio recordings that were made under their supervision and at their direction, which will prove my innocence and that will show that these allegations aren't true. They're merely intended to try to bleed my family out of money. This former Department of Justice official tomorrow was supposed to be contacted by my father so that specific instructions could be given regarding the wiring of $4.5 million as a down payment on this bribe. I don't think it's a coincidence that tonight, somehow, the New York Times is leaking this information, smearing me, and ruining the investigation. That and I believe we are in an era of our politics now, Tucker, where people are smeared to try to take them out of the conversation. I'm not the only person on screen right now who's been falsely accused of a terrible sex act. You were accused of something that you did not do. And so you know what this feels like. You know the pain it can bring to your family. And you know how it, it just puts people on defense when you're- hey, You just referred to a, a mentally ill viewer who accused me of a sex crime 20 years ago. Um, and it, of course, it was, it was not true. I'd never met the person. Um, but but I, I do agree with you that being accused falsely is one of the worst things that can happen. And you do see it a lot. What's what is the basis of that investigation? What is the allegation? Is that really not very clear from these news stories? Yeah, again, I only know what I've read in the New York Times say that actually you and I went to dinner about two years ago. Your wife was there and I brought a friend of mine. You'll remember her. And she was actually threatened by the FBI, told that if she wouldn't cop to the fact that somehow I was involved in some pay for play scheme, uh, that she could face trouble. And so I, I, I don't remember the, the woman you're speaking of or the context at all, honestly, but I'm not quite sure where the sex trafficking part comes in. I don't again, for the fifth time, I don't really understand the story very well. So I just want to make a little note. I just want to put it out there that regardless of the validity of any of these allegations, 
or the investigation that's going on anything to do with it, whether he did these things or not. I do not like his wording of saying a 17 year old woman. A 17 year old girl can never be a woman. No man should see it that way. It's not a thing. A 17 year old woman and that regardless of like people's sick thoughts, it is still a child, a teenager. And I don't think he necessarily meant it that deep. I don't think that these allegations are true, so I don't think he meant it that way. But wording in, in situations like this, I believe is important. And that's just a little off for me. Matt Gaze had good intentions, I believe, in doing this interview immediately after the story broke. He could have done an immensely better job. He's a better speaker than that. That, this whole, he left a lot of material for the left to pick apart. This whole situation is odd to me. The vagueness of the story, vagueness of the leak, the vagueness of Matt Gates' answers. It's like no one will talk about the actual topic. The weird vibe with everyone involved and how they're talking about it makes a lot of people, including myself, feel like there's a bigger piece of the puzzle that we're not being told. I feel like there's something weird going on behind the scenes or something because it's just, it's off. There's something off. The question is, what is really being investigated? According to the congressman, there is an extortion a conspiracy that was involved here. According to the New York Times, there is a question of traveling with an underage girl uh, for sex in violation of federal law. This is something that the truth could be determined, right? Either she is younger than 18 or she is not. Either he traveled with her or he did not. Um, those facts are probably established at this point. Uh, it's hard to imagine that they're not. So I'm a little bit confused as to the timing of this leak and the inability to confirm these basic facts. Clearly, if these allegations are true, he's going to lose his committee position. He's, he, he's at risk of, of being uh, sanctioned, if not expelled, from Congress. But if they're not true, the New York Times also has some serious questions to, to answer, and so do those who leak the story. I just don't understand why we cannot get to the base of this allegation fairly quickly. Yeah, um, it seems that the records would substantiate it or negate it. Uh Kevin McCarthy, I thought, was like better pals with Matt Gates, but his answer was weird as fuck, too. Like, what about Representative Gates? What about him? There's talk of him in allegations regarding a young girl. There's talk of that. Position of leader. There, there's a, say, are you still supporting him? Are you talking to him about it? Where, where do things stand right now from your point of view? There's a New York Times story that I read. I haven't been able to talk to Mr. Gates yet. Mr. Gates denies the story, but I look forward to talking to Mr. Gates. Uh, I haven't heard anything from the DOJ or others, but I will deal with it um, if any of it comes to be. I don't know what's going on, but I would like to know. I feel like this is all part of a bigger conflict or something. It's just very odd, very weird vibes. Like I said, the liberals are definitely eating this shit up. They're loving this. You can tell that they've hated Matt Gates for a while and probably just didn't have like enough to just like sit there and talk shit about him for hours on. So now that they have a topic to just rip him apart for, they're loving it. They're loving it. They are all so happy to have the story that in fact, they literally cannot hide their joy. Now Tucker's like, how the hell did I get roped into this? I don't know about you. I don't smile when I talk about human trafficking, especially when it involves children. To use it in a way is like, haha, Republicans suck. Is that really where your mind goes when you hear these things? That it's a Republican thing? Like, I posted why? this selfie with Gates and Trump ally Roger Stone. And I can't help but wonder what the reaction would be if, I don't know, AOC or Ilhan Omar were in a picture with a guy charged with sex trafficking of a child. QAnon would go crazy. Fox News would have a field day. It wasn't just <laughs> this interview was so all over the place. You'd think Matt Gates owned a pillow company. These same people, these same hosts, anchors, all these idiots. <laughs> who would not spend more than two seconds acknowledging that Eric Swalwell, Chinese spy story, or maybe spent no time at all, because literally when I was trying to find any reference point to 
any news station but Fox talking about that, I cannot find anything. Maybe I missed it, but I, I worded it every which way I could. Looked up on their websites, looked it up on YouTube, looked, Googled it, binged it, yahooed it. Anyways, the same people who would not talk about that story cannot stop talking about this. It's amazing. It's amazing that they don't see the irony in every single thing that they do. Like, that's recorded. Like, like you can reference it later to show them what a fucking idiot they are. And they'll still go out and do it again. Eric Swalwell was literally a Chinese spy. We know it. They knew it before possibly he went into the intelligence committee. He should have resigned from that position. He should not have that position. He stayed. He was almost like offended that anyone would even imply that he should maybe step down from it. Other Democrats got offended on behalf of him. He should not have been put on in the first place. If people did know if the allegations are true which again i do not think they are i think that he's a loudmouth republican and pretty well disliked the thing with republicans for the most part we will call out a moron in our party when, when a republican politician shows a nasty side of their life or themselves or some shady deals for the most part we as a whole say fuck you we don't sit there and defend it or not even bring it up. We'll talk about it. We will talk about it, even if we don't agree with it. Again, for the most part, we're not afraid to bring up facts, to bring up situations, because we're not afraid of the facts. We're not afraid of the truth. We'll deal with it once it's there. So this is unrelated, but for the one or two people who actually were like, hey, hmm, I wonder what happened to that Trump project that Sam was working on. Well, due to the chaotic nature of my life and... um horrible things happening for no goddamn reason all the time. The Trump project that I had been working on for months now um, got compromised. It got fucked. It poofed away from my life. Um, it's gone. And as far as I can tell, there's really no getting it back. It's almost done with part one, which is... It's depressing. But all the other footage and stuff I had for part two is also gone. So I don't know if I'll ever restart that. I... It's, it's going to be hard to get motivation to do that again because it's just like, it's like, <sighs> I feel like I like lost a pet or something. That was my little baby, but like not connected enough to be my own child. So I'd say it was like my pet and it died. So I just thought I'd put that out there because at first I didn't want to talk about it when it first happened a few weeks ago, but then I just started forgetting to mention it. <laughs> um, hopefully one day I'll find the motivation or somehow magically... Um, the universe will work in my favor for once and just somehow bring doubt it, but that would be convenient. So let me know your thoughts below on the whole Matt Gates investigation. Let me know what you think is going on behind the scenes. I'd love to know your guys' thoughts because you guys aren't stupid. I'm sure you have some shit I just, that just hasn't clicked for me. You're gonna help it click for me, right? Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked the video. Please give it a like if you did in fact like it. I will see you guys next time. Bye.